Yo, what is up? Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing how to set up Yuzu emulation on PC. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right off the back, I cannot provide you the product keys or the firmware. You're going to have to find that yourself. It's a quick Google search, very easy, product.keys plus firmware. You know, someone's going to have it for you. Um, this video is like if you already have it and you're just not sure where to go from there. So first things first. We're going to want to go to the Yuzu website. I'll attach the download link in the description. We're going to go ahead, go here. We're going to go ahead, download. Download for Windows. Let it do its thing. We're going to come to our file files, download. And then right here is our Yuzu install. We're going to click that. Might take like a second or two. View local files is the first thing we want to do. And actually, hmm, actually not there. Check options, uninstall, view, update. Actually, you want to update it. I'm sorry. It's kind of been a while. Click exit. While we're waiting, if you already have your product keys, go ahead and extract it. Your firmware, do not extract it. Not yet, at least. But that's what your product keys should look like. By the way, your product keys and firmware need to match. So if you have like 16.0.0, your product keys need to be the same. If you're if it's at 17.0.0, then you know, vice versa. Both of them just need to be the same. Did I not boot up easy? Now, when you first boot up, your game's going to tell you that it does not have keys and you need to install your keys um, when you first load up. So what we would do is go to our file, load files, actually open Yuzu folder, I'm sorry. And the first things first, we're going to want to do keys, that product keys that you just got, we're going to drop right here. Uh, what I like to do, like if you have it like in your downloads and it's split up. Just do that, throw this here, and then have that open. So your downloads, you'll see, you know, you, you have your new product keys. You want to drag and drop. Close out both tabs. Go back into open user folder. And we're going to want to go to, hold on, I wrote it down. We're going to go to Yuzu. We need to go to NAND. System, content, registered. Open up another tab. Yours is going to be empty. Uh, I just already have mine out. So when you go to downloads, that firmware, you're going to want to drag that there and then extract it. Uh, open up the folder, copy everything that's in there. It's going to look like this. You're going to copy everything that's in that folder, and you're going to place it in the registered bin. Once you're done, close everything out. You're going to want to close that Yuzu so that everything registers correctly. You're going to reopen it, and everything's going to work. It's not going to give you the notification that you still need keys. Next thing is we want to add our directory for our games. So... Actually, right here, we're going to add a new game directory. <clears throat> this is how it's going to pick up your games and where to find them. Mine is on my SD card. So that is what I would select. Switch and then select folder. If you did everything correctly, your game should load up. And that's really it on um, how to set up. There, there's a couple of uh, 
configuration you want to do, like your controller, you definitely want to map that out. Uh, controls right here. I went with Pro Controller, Xbox One, Zero. And then you could kind of touch everything just to see like things work. Um, if so, if everything's good, you're just going to go ahead and click OK, save it. And each game is going to perform very differently than the other. Some might perform really great and then some might just perform at all. Um, it's a hit and miss. I like to go to Yuzu's compatibility list just to see what games work and what settings they may have used. Also check YouTube videos on any games that you were looking at. Um, but that's really it on how to set up Yuzu. If I missed anything or if you need help, just send me a message on TikTok or leave me a comment and I'll help you out as best as possible. And I will catch you guys on the next one.